Watch dead and all. And no one's gonna persuade me to give up my plan of going after him. Way to Hades down below. Absolutely. But no more than that. If there's anything there. What do you want? What I want is a clever poet. For some of them are gone. The ones who are left are bad. What is a pile upon living? Oh, he is the one good thing that is left. That is, if he really is any good. I'm not altogether sure about that. Little brother, if you have to resurrect somebody, why not bring up um, Sophocles instead of Euripides? Oh, no, no, no. I want to get Iophon all by himself, without Sophocles. Take him apart and see how he does. Besides, Euripides is a slippery character who'd like to make a jailbreak and come back with me. Sophocles behaved himself up here. He would down there. What happened to Agathon? Oh, he's gone. Left me. Oh, and he was a good poet, too. His friends miss him. Where did he go? To join the saints for dinner. Uh, well, what about Xanacles? Oh, I only wish he would die. <laughs> Evangelist? And nobody ever thinks of me. And look at me standing here with my shoulder practically falling off. <laughs> oh, oh, look, there's still a million and one young guys around. You know, tragic young poets who can out gabble Euripides by country mile. Oh, morning glory, just talking to themselves. Just Twitter birds and free verse whiners. Sloppy craftsmen. What drama, and you never hear from them again. They sprinkle drama in passing like a dog at the pump. <laughs> you tell me where you can find one honest-to-God poet to fart you out one good, round, solid, tragic verse. Honest-to-God like what? Honest-to-God like this. Someone with an adventurous style, as you should say. Right. Upper air. <laughs> Zeus's penthouse. Or the foot of time. Or heart that would not swear upon the holy thing. Or tongue that was forsworn, though the heart knew it not. Oh, you really like that stuff? It's absolutely dreamy, man. It's awful. It's bilge. <laughs> Nobody knows that better than you. Uh, rule not my mind. Thy own is thy mind. Uh, rule thou it. No, really, little brother. It does seem the most awful slob to me. Well, you should stick to food. And nobody ever thinks of me. So let me tell you why I'm here, wearing this stuff that makes me look like you. <laughs> and so you can tell me about your friends who put you up when you went down there to fetch the caravan stall. Well, I could use some friends. So tell me about them. Tell me about the ports, the bakeries, the whorehouses, the parks and roadside rest, the springs and highways, the city, the boarding houses, and the best hotel scarcest in bed money. And nobody ever thinks of me! You poor idiot. You're really going to try and get there. Oh, no more of that stuff, please. Just tell me about the roads and what's the quickest way to Hades Underhouse. And don't make it a hot one. Not too cold, either. Uh, what's my first recommendation? Let's see. Oh, what indeed. Ah, here's the way. We need a footstool and a rope. Go hang yourself. <laughs> stop, stop! That's a stifling sort of way! Uh, well, there's a short, well-beaten path. Well-beaten? <laughs> Be a mortar and pestle? That's hemlock you're talking about? Hemlock, uh, nothing else but. <laughs> a chilly sort of way. Makes me shiver. Shit's go numb. Oh, shall I tell you about the quick downhill path? <laughs> well, yes, I'm like that. I'm somebody who hates to walk. Well, take just a short walk over to the Potter's Quarter. Uh, yes? Climb the tower. The high tower. Uh, what do I do then? Oh, wait till they drop the torch. Signals the start of the race, and when they do, all the spectators around will yell, Go! <laughs> when they yell, Go! You go, too! Go where? Over the edge! <laughs> over the edge! Over the edge! I smashed my twin buckets of brains! No, I won't go that way of yours. <laughs> what do you want? The way you went. The deathless way. But little brother, that's a long journey. <laughs> First, you'll come to a great swampy lake. It's <laughs> bottomless. Well, then how do I get across? 
Oh, there's an ancient mariner with a little tiny boat. He'll take you across, and you'll give him two bits for it. Oh, gee, those two bits. <laughs> you can't ever seem to be rid of them. How did they ever get here? Oh, Theseus brought them over from Athens. After that, you'll see snakes. Armies of wild animals. Monsters. Stop trying to scare me like this! You'll never stop me! Next comes a great sea of mud and shit and springs eternal. With people stuck therein. Anyone who did injury to a guest or to a host debauched a child and picked his pockets in the process. Beat his mother. Broke his father's jaw. <laughs> Took up jogging? <laughs> broke his father's jaw. Swore an oath and broke it, or, or copied the tragic speeches of Morse the ah! Don't stop there! I've got one more to add. Whoever learned the war dance by Canisius? <laughs> <laughs> the lovely sound of flutes fall upon you and you'll see a lovely light like this hot damn sun above here. Myrtles, psalm troops, endless societies of men and women, and an endless clapping of hands. And who are they? Oh, they're the blessed, the initiates. And on the donkey carry mystic properties. Well, I don't mean to keep them till the end of time. Hey, so so ask now. them. They'll tell you everything else you need to know, for they live closest to the road you must go. Their habitation is by Pluto's door. So good luck, little brother. He's going to need it. Oh, say to you, keep healthy. Boy, pick up those bundles. You mean before I put them down? Get a move on. Oh, please, please, please don't make me do it. Why did you hire one of those sticks they're carrying out, huh? There, there's bound to be one soon. What if I can't get one? Well, well, well then I'll do it. Very well. Oh, look, here comes the corpse now being carried out. Got a vlog to catch. Gonna get me there before I start to decompose? Hey! Whoa! That highway sign! We're in New Jersey! New you Jersey. sure you know how to go to hell? Hey there! Ah, you union guys. You necrophilia, it's just something I feel like I'm getting screwed. Yeah, you there! <laughs> that dead one! I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Wanna carry some uh, packages to Haiti? How much? That much. Oh, oh God! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Two bucks. Give me two bucks. My God, no! That's too much. Uh, keep carrying me, guys. No, wait a minute. We've got to be able to work this out. What's the matter? Uh, two bucks. Put a purse on up. Make it one and a half. I'd sooner come to life again. <laughs> Stuck up bastard, isn't he? To hell with him! Where are we going again? Okay, come on, guys. Look, left, two blocks, right, left, hell. You got it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, master. I'll carry the bundles. You are nature's nobleman. Come on, let's go catch a boat. Whoa! Coming alongside! <laughs> what indeed! Oh, here's the lake right where he said it would be! And now here comes the boat! So help me, beside you, so it is! And Charon, too! Oh, carry me, Charon! Oh, sweet Charon, carry me home! <laughs> Who wants a crew? Relaxation from business worries? Meadows of forgetting or horse featherland. Going to the dog. Going to the bird. Going to hell. Ah, oh, me. Oh, then get aboard. Take away. What do you think we're bound for? Strictly for the birds? With you on board. Get on. Get on. <laughs> I hear, boy. No! I will not take a slave! Only a veteran of our high-saving sea battle! Well, I, I would have been there, but I was sick. I had to pee on. Well then, you can take a little walk around the ah, lake. Ah. Well, well, where shall I find you? That is the stone of the parching thirst. Ah, that's a pull-off. Yes, uh, you got that? 
Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> I wish I was dead. What kind of bad luck sign did I run into this morning? You! Sit to your oar! Anyone else coming? Hurry up! Want to go to hell? You there! What do you think you're doing? Sitting to my oar! Exactly what I was told to do! Well, fatso! Sit here! Sit like this! Oh, up here! Do you got it? Okay! Got it! Now, I want you to put your arms away and bring them back! Stop being an ass, will you? Now bring your arms up and put some weight into it. Get up here. Come on, there's no time in hell. Let's go. Oh! Oh! What do you want from me? I've never rowed before. I'm no old Navy man. I never made the first crew. How am I supposed to row? Easily. Just begin to do it, and you'll get a lovely swan song to give you the time. Uh, well, who's singing? Oh, it's a lovely swan song, but the swans are lovely frogs. Ah. Very well, then. Give me the stroke. No, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, get me started. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, give me the timing. Get on. Oompa, 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 oompa. Beginning to fail, I raise these blisters on my tail. Coax, coax, I think I am. But possibly you don't care a damn. Coax, coax. All I can hear is coax. Go away! I'd like to give you that. Picking up the rhythm from you, Chad. I'm sorry for us if you join in. 
I'm sorry for me if I began to split in two from bottom to chin. And to hell with you, I don't care what you do. Whatever you say, we'll croak off you. As long as we're stout, our throats call out. Wreck it, kick it, kick it, collax, collax. There, I can do it better than you. No! We can do it better than you. Do it better than you, and I'll croak away if it takes all day. Rick, kick, 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 coax, coax, and I'll croak you all down in the grand climax. Rick, kick, 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 coax, coax. There, I know I can do it better than you. You and your coax. <laughs> oh, easy, easy. Doors up. Everybody up! Time for you to uh, pay your fare! You're too big, my dear man. Champions! Hey, champions! Now, where's he got to? Champions! Hello, Master! Oh. Hello! What's over there? Lots of mud and darkness. Oh, well, did you see those criminal types he was talking about? You know, the murderers and swindlers. Well, haven't you seen them? Oh, yeah! Now I know where to look. <laughs> Five, ten. Ah, yes, they're all there. All right, what do we do next? I think we should get out of here. This is a place where he said those wild animals would be, you know, those monsters. Oh, oh him. He was just talking big, trying to scare me. Huh? I tell you, he knows what a fighting man I am, and it just makes him jealous. I tell you, there's no one more game than Harry. Still, I wish we had that some terrifying thing. Struggle to make the trip worthwhile. You know, I think I do hear something moving about. Well, which direction? It's right behind us. Behind. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Now it's in front. Oh, when you stay in front. Oh, oh, I see it. It's an enormous thing. A wild animal. What does it look like? Well, it keeps changing shape. Now it's a cow. Now it's a donkey. Ooh, now it's a girl. <laughs> what a beauty. Oh, well, let me at her. Where'd she go? Oh, too late. No girl any longer. She turned into a bitch. Huh. It's Imposa! Well, wherever she is, she done caught fire! Her face is burning! Oh, does she have one brazen leg? She does, she does! And the other one's made of dung! I'm not lying! Oh, where can I run to? <laughs> where can I? Oh, oh, save me, your reverence! We belong to the same lodge! <laughs> Lord God, Hercules, we're alone! Oh, oh don't, 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 don't call me that! Don't give away my name, oh, please! Lord Dionysus! Oh, no, 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 no! no. <laughs> Go on the way you were. That was even worse. <laughs> Look! Uh, uh, master, over here! You got something? Oh, it's no need to be frightened. We've come out all right. And now I can speak the line Hegelico spoke. The storm is over, and the clam has stilled the waves. And Pusa's gone. Do you swear it? So help me Zeus. Swear it! So help me Zeus. Swear it! Ah, help me Zeus! Oh, what a fright! When I saw her, I lost all my pretty colors. Yes, our donkey had a fright too, so you're all in yellow. <laughs> what did I ever do to deserve this? Which of you gods should I hold responsible for this? Right upper earth, Zeus's penthouse, or the foot of God! <laughs> hey, you! What? What is it? You hear that? Hear what? The sound of flutes being blown. I hear it too, and there's a crackle and smell of torches. Seems like mystery is going on. I think you're right. Maybe we better squat over here quiet like and listen in. Iacos! 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 Oh, Iacos! See, Master, it's just as I told you, just as I thought. It's the initiates, remember? He told us their playground is hereabouts. They sing the Iacos song by that noted theologian, Theodoros. I think you're right. But still, we better sit here quiet until we figure out exactly what goes on. 
sing now to the pretty god of the day. Summon him to join us. We have a sacred way to go, and he goes with us. Theakos, well, we love the spirit of some. Oh, be my leader and march along the feet of holy way. Bring me to Lucius, swift and musically to you, I pray. Theakos, love of this, help me on my way. <laughs> you split my shirt to make them laugh and boo. <laughs> You my cheap little cheese and... <laughs> my friends, smile on me! Ah, uh, you know how to make do? War Tiny Tommy! Tiny. Tiny. <laughs> Iacos, lover of dancing, help me on my way! I saw a sweet little girl up in the crowd today. Ooh, and as she bent over, yes, her dress, I swear, busted open. <laughs> <laughs> and I was happy to stare at a boot in me eyeball. <laughs> oh, New York goes, Opera dances, help me on my way. I'm a fellow who's always been good at following my leader. I gladly come up there and help you play with her. <laughs> <laughs> And still he hasn't paid it. <laughs> now he's among the upworld citizens. <laughs> Nobody up there can claim a similar fame for being a bastard! <laughs>
choked him by the collar and made off with him, and I was on duty. Oh, we got a scissors hold on you, bud. We've got the we've got the black heart cliffs of sticks all ready for you. We've got the blood dripping rocks of Acheron all ready to shove you off of. And Akinda, our pet hundred headed viper, waits to gnaw at your gizzard. While well, Urena, eel of hell, shall have your lungs to chew at. Oh, I need my lungs, please. I... And then, hmm, your innards and your kidneys and your bleeding bowels will all go to the tough race to endure them. Oh, they'll chew you up. I think I hear them straining at the leash. I'm gonna go let them loose on you. Later, Chuck. <laughs> Oh. Oh. What's that, boss? I can't hold it anymore. Is there a god in the house? You clown! Don't disgrace us, you on your feet before somebody sees us. But I feel so faint. A good chap. Put a wet sponge over my heart. Yeah. Here. You put it. Where are we? Well, you're really not sure. Yeah. I think we took the wrong Oh, you! Oh, 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 you golden dog, is that where you keep your heart? Well, you see the poor little thing, she got so frightened, she crept out there to hide. <laughs> you are the worst coward of all gods and men! Call me? Call me coward? I asked for a sponge, didn't I? No one else would have done that. What would they have done? Lay there and stuck. That's what a good coward would have done. And besides, I'm on my feet again, and united I stand. That's manliness by Poseidon. Goodness gracious, yes. She she said such awful things and talked so loud. Weren't you just a little bit frightened? Oh, no, <laughs> I never gave it a second thought. <laughs> well, I tell you what, then. I guess you win. You're the hero boy. So, uh, you be me. Here's the club. Here's the lion skin. I'll be you. You're the guy with the fearless guns. I'll take my turn with the double bag. Uh, um, uh, I cannot but obey thee. Quick, quick, hurry up. Get in Now see if I'm a sissy boy like you. Ha! You look like someone who came from the same ward but got run out on a rail. Oh, guess it's my turn to take the duffel bag. Why, Heracles, darling, it's you! <laughs> when the mistress heard you might be around, she put the buns in the oven and lit the stove and put a pot of beans to cook. And, oh yes, barbecued you a steer. Oh. No one offered me a whole steer. <laughs> and there'll be cakes and cookies. So come on in. Cakes and cookies always practice different valley. Like roasting the chicken. salted nuts. Nuts to him, I say. <laughs> mixing the wines and vintage stuff. So here. Uh, yep. Wine. Go inside. Oh, I'm afraid I really can't. So it's me. Don't be so silly. I won't let you get away. Let's see. There's a flute player girl waiting for you inside. And she's lovely. And two or three dancers, too, I believe. And <laughs> what can you say? Dancing girls? Pretty. I was serious, did you, when I got you up as Heracles for fun? 
Xanthius, will you kindly stop being such an ass? Here's the baggage. What? Take it. It's all yours. What are you saying? Are you thinking of taking back what you gave me? I'm not thinking about it. I'm doing no, it. Help! Help, yes. help, witness! Oh, make a note! Oh, 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 so I'll put this in the hands of my gods. What gods, you idiot? All right. Thinking you could be Heracles, Alchemene's son, when you're human, and a slave at that. <laughs> oh, the hell with it. Here, take it, take it. Huh. But perhaps, God willing, someday you'll find you need me after all. Now that's an adaptable guy. Must have been in the Navy. He's been around. He'll never get drowned. Always knows where the gravy is. The ship's on her beam, and he's on the side that's dry. <laughs> he's got super sensory vision, like our local politician, Faramani. Just call him Galash or any old boot. You can easily put it on your right or your left hand foot. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's what would have been funny. Picture it like this. Here's Xanthius and his honey, ready to kiss. But he's got to go. So I hold the pot for him, and I make a pass at the girls. Oh. Uh, anyway, he's on to it. So he hauls back and sucks me one in the teeth. And knocks the spots right out of adding tragedy. <laughs> I know those terms. 
Yeah. I will accept. All right. Ah, 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 the old Twitter huh? Oh, oh, <laughs> never learned. Hey, gods don't dress quickly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now who's the god? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. That's a good point. It's not so far off the mark, but you know, I thought of that too. If it's anything bad, this lovely land hands it to me. Right. If anything no. good, you take it back if you could. Every time, <laughs> I'll chew brave herbs, uh -huh. and I won't take fright, so fight, fight, fight for death, yeah! yeah! And it's time for it, boys. I hear a noise. The door's trouble coming this way. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There's the dog Whoa. And then assault! Whoa. Whoa. Ow. He's too big for me. Outrage should not be allowed! Yeah. Oh, so help me, Susan, hope to die if I ever was in this place before! Or I ever stole a hair's worth of goods that belong to you! Here, I'll make you a gentlemanly proposition, my lady. Yeah. Ah! Here's my slave boy. Oh, Take him, <laughs> put him to the torture, yeah. then kill me if you find I did anything wrong. Uh, <laughs> what torture? Oh, try them all. Oh, yeah. Tie him up. Hang yeah. him upside down. Yeah. Hit him with a wick of yeah. yeah. Take his yeah. skin off. Yeah. Twist yeah. him on the rack. Pour yeah. vinegar up his nose. Yeah. 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 Fix yeah. on him. Just give him the word. Yeah, right. yeah. Only please yeah. excuse him from anything gentle like soft onion whips or leeks. Oh. Oh. Fine, fair enough. And if I hit your slate too hard and I cripple him, the damage is amazing. Yeah. Never mind, baby. <laughs> Take my oh, way finger. Work. Got him. Oh, that's double. I'll do it right here. Oh, yeah! <laughs> He'll confess in front of your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, drop that bag and be quick about it. All right. See that you don't tell me any lies. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Hey. I protest! <laughs> I'm warning everyone not to torture me! Yeah. I'm a god! Yeah. What are you talking about? I I'm immortal, Dionysus, son of Zeus, and he's the slave. Slowly I turn, step by step. <laughs> for him to get a good whipping. Yeah. You know, if he's really a god, he won't feel anything. Yeah! yeah. Well, you're claiming to be a god, too, so how about it? Yeah. Right! Shouldn't you get as many strokes as I do? Yeah! yeah. 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 That's yeah. fair enough, too. Whip us both. And if you see either of us paying any attention or crying out of pain to what you're doing, then you'll know one of us isn't a god. Yeah! Uh, all right. He must be a gentleman. Can't be a doubt about it the way that the trial see. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, uh, how are you going to make this even? Easy. Get back. <laughs> I'm going to hit one of you first. Ah, okay. And then the other one, and so on and so forth. Come on, yeah. Angel, let's go. Oh. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. And when you hit me, oh. see if I make it. Get a good one.
I must have missed another trick. Oh, okay. Come on, give it, give it, give it. Come on, Elka. Come on, Elka. Why didn't I sneeze? I do so when I'm tickled. Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna try this. Are you supposed to be doing, doing something? Oh, oh my gosh! My gosh? That hurt, did it? Yeah, I uh, just thought of something. Time for my feast is diomia, and the enemy won't let me hold it. Uh, Smack's too religious. I can't get to him. I haven't tried this guy again. Yeah, yeah. Get it, come on. Get it to him. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, there go the cavalry. That's their pride. Hey, there's tears in your eyes. I've got a whiff of their onion rash. Oh. It didn't feel anything. <laughs> Nothing that would bother me. <laughs> I better go try this. Uh, yeah, get yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. What's the matter? Oh. Pull this thing out, will you, Thor? Oh. Oh. Quoting a verse of Hippodax. Of course. Uh, of course, Hippodax. You aren't trying. Yeah. Give him a good hard whack in the ribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. come on. Thanks. Turn him around. Yeah. Turn him around. Give him a good one. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 You're quite right. Although I wish you'd thought of that before, so you wouldn't have had to whack me. <laughs> oh, well. should have platinum status and be over men once for all. Please, I'm not against their freedom in itself. I quite agree. They deserve it. That's the only thing you've done intelligently. Right. Still, there are those other men who also often fought at sea by your side, whose fathers also fought for us. Well, Akin by blood to you. Let their one fault be forgotten. Let them know your mercy too. Oh, Athenians, wise beyond all other men, forget your rage. You. Any man who fights at sea beside us, let him be our friend. Thank you. Take him as a citizen, honored kinsman. Let all hatred end. Now the city is caught in the storm and struggles in the grip of yes. the waves. Surely. This is not the time for your old, hard, exclusive pride. Someday you will regret it if you leave unsaid the word that saved you. If I have true discrimination to judge a man in his sorrow, not long will our current baboon be here to bother us. Yeah. Ah. That is little Clygenes, chiefest of all the lords of the Babel Whirlpool bath where salts without soda. Ah. What they really use is the clay of Kim Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> now he won't be around very long, and he knows it. But he carries a club against robbers whenever he goes under one of his drunken clothes. <laughs> We've been thinking much of late about the way the city treats all the choicest souls among its citizens. It seems to be like the recent coinage as compared with the old currency. We still have the ancient money. Finest coins, I think, in Greece. 
finer than the coins of Asia. Clank them, and they ring the bell. Truly fashioned. Nothing phony. Round and honest. Every piece. Uh, do we ever use it? We do not. Uh, Instead, we use this wretched brass. Last week's vintage. Cheap, uh, light, phony. Looks like hell. Oh, uh, now let's compare the citizens. We have some stately gentlemen. Modest. Uh, hey. Anciently descended. Proud and educated. Well on the wrestling ground. Uh -huh. Men of distinction. Ah. Uh, Good yes. school. Rage and project, preferring instead any foreign fool or redhead slave or brazen clown or shyster. And this is what we choose to direct our city immigrants! Once we would not use one of these as a public scapegoat. Uh, that was in the former days. Now we love them. Hey, you idiots, turn about and change your ways. Use our useful man. Ah, that will look best in case of victory. Hang we must, if we must hang. But let's at least hang from a handsome tree. Yes. Cultured gentlemen should bear their sufferings with dignity. Yes, thank you, thank you. Oh, go home, go home, get out, get out of here, go home. Get over, get over, get over, get over. Master, you're as glad to the savior. He's a man of parts, a gentleman. Ha! Yeah, it's a logical conclusion. If trencherman plus wencherman means gentleman. Oh, he didn't even have you down on the mat and beat you up when you said you were a slave and you went to the master. He'd have been sorry if he had. Good slavemanship, that. Well played, exactly the way I like to do it. Come again, you like what? Well, you know, seeing myself off in action, you know, when I get off where my master can't hear, I curse at him. What about sneaking out of doors after a good meeting and muttering at your master? <laughs> I like that too. And poking into his business? No. Can you think of anything nicer? <laughs> My sister by Zeus? What about uh, listening to keyholes when masters are gossiping? Mm, just about sin to me. Crazy! <laughs> and spreading secrets you listen in on like that? Who, me? <laughs> That's not just crazy, man. That is super crazy plus. Phoebus Apollo, you're one of us. <laughs> Give us the grip. Oh. <laughs> and then please tell me in the name of Zeus of the Slaves, where's this fight with us? What's all the yelling and racket and screaming? What goes on inside? Well, uh, well one's uh, Aeschylus and one's Euripides. Uh -huh. Oh, it's big business, big business. This fight with the corpse is high argument. What's it all about? Well, we have to set this custom here for an award for literature in the humanities. And the one who's best at the work he does is to, uh, you know, eat dinner in the capital and sit in the chair next to Pluto. I see. Hey. So somebody comes along who's better than he is, and then he has to move over. Well, I don't see Escalus having anything to worry about. Oh, yeah. He has a chair for tragedy, and he's the best at writing. Well, so who is now? Well, then Euripides came down here, and he displayed for all the rogues and safe crackers and the sneak thieves and the pickpockets and the juvenile delinquents, and, the, and there's a lot of that yeah. down here in Hades. Yeah. Um, all the, uh, all his disputations and his wrigglings and his twists and things were crazy men who thinking he was the cleverest writer. And that all went through his head, and so he challenged the chair where Eskimos was sitting. Well, didn't they throw him out? No, oh, they did not. They, they yelled out for a contest to see which one was better than the other. Oh, you mean the criminal public yell? Sure, they cried out to him. Well, now, how come Sophocles didn't make a bid for the tragic care, huh? Oh, he never even tried to. He got down here, he walked up to Aeschylus, shook his hand, kissed him, and gave up his right on the chair in favor of him. His idea of things he needed to tell me was to sit on the bench as a substitute. If Aeschylus wins, he'll stay where he's at. If he loses, he needs to fight for his own art against you. Huh? So the whole thing's coming off. So yeah, it's just a little wild, and then they're gonna all the terrors of tragedy will be let loose. Oh, God. <laughs> they're gonna get off the scale. 
to wait and music them? Yeah, well, what's the idea of that? Short changing tragedy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe get these square layers and these cheap squares and find the fold. Yeah, bricklayers reunion. Badges and calipers. <laughs> Your epity says you have to bring the cheap tragedy. Oh, oh look at all this is making Esco is pretty mad. Oh, God. He got down like a bull ready to charge. Yeah. Say, who's going to judge this? Well, that was pretty hard. You know, they found the intellectual. Yeah. Maybe they realized most of them were bank robbers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they thought it was pretty ridiculous for anybody to say poets, to judge poets. Ah. And the master came along and they handed it to him, you know, in a second. Yeah. Oh, you better go. You know what happened when the master was tired? Screams and yells of pain from oh. us. <laughs> Therefore, the sleeping now of the thunder with the inside. When the red turns sharp and he sees of his multi-loquacious antagonist to encounter him, then shall ensue dread time for a fury. Hoist and crested phrases shall shock in hell's tossing combat. Chariots collide in realm of wreckage and splinter flown action. Warriors beating off, brain-crafted warriors, cavalry speeches. <laughs> Bristling the hairy mane of its neck of self-grown horsehair. Blowing, he shall blast the bolts from compacted joinery. Banging flank by flank, nailed sections of verse and starburst I will not give up the chair, so stop trying to tell me to! Oh. Oh! I tell you I'm a better poet than he is! Oh. 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 Well, Eskimos, you heard him. Don't you have anything to say? He's always started with a line of scornful silences. He used to use them in his plays to mystify us. Oh, Eskimos, don't be overconfident. I know this man. I've studied him for a long time. His verse is fiercely made, all full of sound and fury. Language, unbridled, uncontrolled, ungated in, untalkable around, bundles of blast and boast. You child of the cabbage patch goddess. You jammer compiler, why you rag stitcher together. You say this to me? Say it again, and you'll be sorry. No, after this, drag stitch. Oh, drag your passion, blow your mortal coils in oil. I'll not stop until I've shown in detail what kind of one-legged poet that is who talks so big. Oh, black rain, black ram, boys. Fat wind and fetches black ram. Sacrifice to the hurricane. It's on the way. Fire of green soul, Arias. To base our art by staging impudent and impure marriages. Yeah. <laughs> now, most honorable Eskimos, please stop right there. Yeah. And you, my poor Euripides. <laughs> if you have any sense, you'll take yourself out of the path of the storm before its hail breaks open your head uh, and your telephone oozes out and in the light of the house. Now, gently, gently, Eskimo. Uh, Criticize, don't yell! Hey. 
It is not becoming for two poets and gentlemen to argue like two fakers' wives. You're crackling like an oak log that's been set ablaze. I'm ready for him. Don't even try to get me to back down. I'll bite before I'm bitten if that's what he wants. With lies, with music, the gut strings of tragedy, and with my finest plays, with Pelias, with Meliagros, with Aelos, and best of all, with Telephone. <laughs> what you want to do. Yeah. I'd rather we, we, we would not have staged the match down here. It's yeah. not fair. We don't start even. What do you mean? I mean that my work did not die with me, but his did, so he's... <laughs> 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 but if it's your decision, you have to do it. Yeah. Then, bring on the fire in the incense. Yeah. While I, in the presence of these great intelligences, yeah. pray that I may judge this match most Literarily. Oh. You chorus, meanwhile, sing you an anthem to the music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sure, they'll get better. Demonstrated that my rifle is a phony! Ah! It's a 
audience was a lot of louts, and Britannicus was all they knew. He tipped and cheated them with ease. And here's one more thing he used to do. He'd start with one veiled, bundled, muffled character plunked right in place, Achilles like or Niobe, but nobody could see its face. That looked like drama, sure, but not one syllable would it mutter. But Joe V did it, and that's a fact. The choruses then would utter four huge concatenations of verse. The characters just sat there mum. You know, I like them quite like that. I'd rather have them silent than yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But what was Aeschylus trying to do? Phony effects! The audience sat there and watched the panorama breathlessly. When will Niobe speak? And that was half the drama. Oh, it's the old show game! I've been had! Aeschylus, why this agitation? You must be cross and at a loss! He does not like investigation. And then, after all this, and the play is halfway through, the character would grunt and moo a dozen galvanized lines or two, with beetling brows and hairy crests like voodoo gum, and all cut up. Incomprehensible, of course. You are telling me! Would you be quiet? He's hitting. Well, indeed. Indeed. He did not say one single word you could understand. Yes, Aeschylus, go grind your teeth. But battles of scamandros, barbicans with ditches underneath, hook nosed eagles, bronze and rocks onto shields, versus arms like infantry. Not altogether easy to make out the sense. You're telling me. Many a night I've laid awake and puzzled on just one single word. A fluvid rooster horse is please exactly just what kind of bird? It's a simple painted on the galley, you ignorant block. <laughs> I thought a resurrexies or Filizino's fighting cock. Well, should a rooster, Volga bird, get into tragedy at all? Well, tell me, what are your creations, you free thinker, if you have the gall? No rooster horses! Bull moose goats, nor many of the millions of monsters the Medes and Persians paint on their pavilions. When I took over our craft from you, I immediately became aware that she was gassy from having been stuffed with heavy text and noisy air. So I eased her aches and reduced the swelling and removed the weights and heats with meat, conceits, and chubby cheeks, with parsnips, reddishes, and beets. I fed her. On smashed and pre-digested baby food, strained from my own books, and fed her on solo audio. The piece of fun had you in his hook. My openings were never complicated or drawn out. They were not difficult. From the beginning, my first character would give the background of the plot at once. Would you yeah. rather give away your personal background, eh? What? And even from the opening, no person was ever left with nothing to do. Each person stepped forward to speak his piece. The mistress spoke. The slave spoke. The master spoke. The daughter spoke. And Grandma spoke. And tell me why you were not hanged for daring that. No, cross my heart and hope to die. I made drama democratic. I taught natural conversational dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, and in that, Good stuff. long before you taught them that, I wish you'd split in the middle. Both yeah. the delicate tests and verbalized commensuration and squint and fraud and get and god and loving application and always to think the worst of everything! So I believe. I staged the life of every day, the way we live it. I couldn't deceive my audience with the sort of stuff they knew about as much as I did. They just spotted me right away. So I played it straight and did not try to bind a verbal spell and hypnotize and lead them by the noses with memons and cagnosis, with rings on their fingers and bells on their toes. Judge each of us by our influence on our followers. Give him many 
Formicios, hey. Neganatos, Sundry, Creeps, and Zanies, Big Mustachio Bugle Boys, and Flight oh. Tree Benders, 12 foot high. Oh. But Clydephone is mine, and so is Theraminis, a forever guy. Yeah. I'll grant your Theraminis. Falls in a puddle and comes out dry. The man is quick and very slick. A true, you ripping kid. When chins are in trouble, he's no chin. He's a kid. about, and these are my contributions. And I turn everything inside out, looking for new solutions to the problems of today. Always critical. Always giving suggestions for gracious living, and they come away from a play in a questioning mood with. Where am I at? And huh? Who took my this? And who's got my that? Who's got my wallet? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The watch you come stopping yeah. home and yell at the servants, yeah. everyone. Where, oh, where have my pictures gone? Yeah. Where is the maid who has betrayed my vision yeah. to the garbage yeah. trade? Where are the pots of yesteryear? Uh, yeah. Where what? is the garlic of yesterday? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Who hath ravished my oil away? Yeah. Formerly, they sent my pits, fresh out of the sticks, and with their jaws hung down in a witless way. <laughs> See you this glorious Achilles. What have you done? Don't let your rage sweep you away, or you'll never be victorious. This cynical sage hits hard. Don't bleed with your chair. Yeah. Take sky sails in. Scud at the bare pole. Oh. Easy now. Keep him full in your sights. When the wind falls, watch him. Then and catch him. That's right. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Grand old inventor of harmony. <laughs> 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 Grand old bulwark of Balderdash! Front speech of Hellenic tragedy! Yeah. Open the faucets and let her splash! Yeah. Oh, pain gives me a pain in the middle! Yeah. My anger and resentment are heated at the idea of having to argue with him! Yeah. Yeah. But so he won't think I'm defeated. Tell me, tell me this, you! What is the duty of a poet, and why are poets respected? Yeah. Because he can write, and because he can think, but yeah. mostly because he's injected some virtue into the body politic. Uh -oh. uh, suppose you break yeah. that trust of corrupt, uh -oh. good, right-thinking men that fill them with treacherous lust. Uh -oh. If a poet does that, what kind of a reward should he get? Money! The arts! That's what he Look at the people I gave him, and look at those people when he got through with them. I left a real generation of heroic six-footers, a whole generation of heroes, not today's gangsters and decadent queerers. <laughs> My heroes started with fear and splendor, with white plumes and stricken field. A whole generation of heroes with shining arms with greaves and seven-foot oxide shields. And that's a disease that will never die out. The munition makers will kill me. What did you do to make them so noble? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes, yes, guys, don't withdraw to injured dignity. That don't go. Answer him. I made them a martial drama. Which? Seven against thieves. Any man sitting there, sitting through that, would have been moved to heroic endeavor! But that was a mistake, man! Why did you make the Thebans more warlike than ever and harder to fight with? By all means, that should be a good beating for you. Good yeah. 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 austerity, but that's exactly what you wouldn't do. So then I put in my Persians, and anyone witnessing that was smitten with a desire for victory over the enemy. <laughs> Best play I ever wrote. Yeah. Yeah. I love that one. And I thrilled where I sat when I heard old Darius was dead. Oh. And the chorus cried, Wahoo! <laughs> Head. Oh, there's always work for poets who are also men. From earliest times, inspiration for virtue and practical wisdom has been made by the makers of rhyme. Why, uh, Harpius taught us to preach against murder and taught us heavenly wisdom. Musaeus divination and medicine, and Hesiod the day-by-day -day cultivation of the fields, the seasons and the plowing. And Homer, divinely inspired, was a source of indoctrination to virtue. 
Why else is he praised for showing us how the heroes arm themselves for battle? Oh, but he didn't teach Pantocles. He can't get it right. I saw him the other night. He was called the parade, don't you know? And he put on his helmet and tried to tie up the plume while the hell was on top of his head. Oh, many, many were my heroic disciples, Lamachus being the last who recently died. The man in the street had to catch something of my heroics and bravery. Why, my Tusers and my Patrocles lifted him out of his knavery and made him feel the thrill of battle and step to the tune of the trumpet. I never regaled him with Fedra the Flusy or Zenobia the Strumpet. I can say that lovesick women were never pictured by me. Yeah, Aphrodite never did notice you that. <laughs> Aphrodite can climb a tree. <laughs> you can't complain that she didn't bestow her attentions on you. <laughs> she got to you in person. She did. And your stories came true. The fictitious chickens came home to me. <laughs> oh, man without pity. Suppose I were to write about Spinovia. What harm has she done our city? The Lara fraud intrigues as set by you have caused respectable wives of respectable men out of shame and confusion to take their own lives. Oh. But isn't my story of Phaedra a story that really has happened? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's true. But the poet must cover up scandal. Oh. I should never let anyone see it. It should not be exhibited out there in the state. Now when our young boys are growing up, they have their teachers as their models. But when they grow up, the poets must act as their preachers and preach to them what is useful and good. Yeah, but you with your Massive constructions, huge words, and mountainous phrases. Is that what you call useful instruction? You ought to make people talk like people. Your folksy style is for the birds. For magnificent uh, thoughts and magnificent insights. We need magnificent words. It's appropriate for the demagogue to talk bigger than we. That is why they're represented as grander in costume and figure. I set a standard of purity, and you corrupted it! How yeah. did I do it? By showing a royal man clad in rags with his skin showing through. You appeal to the emotions. Hey, Why should it be so long to awaken their pity? The rich man will not contribute to the fleet. No. Oh, no, nobody in the city will give. Hey, you can I? see him going about in rags, howling and complaining hey. that he's broke. Hey. But he always has soft and expensive underwear on. Yeah. The liar's so rich and he eats so much he has to give some to the fishes. <laughs> you taught the young man to, dispute, to be disputatious. Each argues as long as he wants to. You've emptied the wrestling yards of the wrestlers and now they're sitting in their fanny listening to adolescent debates. The sailor man gossips like granny and questions the orders of his superior. In my day, all they knew how to do was power for rations, go yeah. yay, ho, and go yeah. yeah. oh. And blast in the face of the man behind. Uh -oh. That's something uh -oh. else they knew how to do. And how to steal from the magic sea and how to be robbers ashore. But now they argue their orders. We just can't send to see anymore. Oh, yeah. That's what he's begun. What hasn't he done? His nurses proposition others why his heroines have their babies in the chapel and go and lie with their brothers and shout his life life while the street is rising with the clerk and the jerk with the chapel baboon and with the politician eight. Physical fitness is such a disgrace that no one is able to carry a torch in the race. You're telling me I laughed to my product had it be a while ago as the torch relay runners came by. There was this one guy. He was tough. He was slow. He was white. He was fat. He was left behind and he didn't know where he was at. And the pottery works gang stood at the gate to give him a bag in the gut of the croix, in the ribs, and the rope. Until the poor fellow, hurried by one cruel thumb, exploded out his inward air and blew out the flare that he carried. Great is this action! The town of the state! If the situation
nation is ripe for war. Yeah. Yeah. How shall the onlooker judge between them? Yeah. Yeah. One is a wrestler, strong and tough. Yeah. The other one, deft in defensive throws yeah. and the back heel stuff. Up from your place. They want to ring again. We Wait, must no. wrestle with once more and fall upon the fight him. Wrestle him. him. Throw the book at him. Talk to him. Sit on him. Skin him alive. Old, Old tricks, new tricks. tricks. Give him the worst. This, this is the great debate for the championship. How's it all? Don't hold back anything for fear of not being understood. Yeah. Yeah. We have an audience who can follow you. Hey, yeah. Don't be afraid of being too difficult. Oh, yeah. That, that could, could what was have happened. But we now we've changed all that. They're, they're good. good. And their arms were action. Everyone's holding his little books look. so he can follow the subtle illusions. And then you end, Blagars, the best in the world! They're bright and sharp and ready for action. Ready for you to begin. Yeah. Here's your sophisticated audience. Play it to win! Yeah! All right. I'll go into your prologues first, since they happen at the beginning of every tragedy. I will analyze this great man's prologues. Did you know how murky you were in getting your action underway? Well, how are you going to analyze it? Yeah. Lots of ways. Let's start by reading the beginning of his Horace Style. Horace Style! Horace Style! Horace Style! Silence all! Let no man speak! Alchemist, read! Hermes, lord of the dead, who watches over the powers of my father. Be my guide and stand by my claim. I have come back to my own soil. I have returned. Oh, oh yeah, does it? Maybe more. Uh -huh. And the Lord is only three lines long. Yeah. And every line had a dozen things wrong with it. Now, Eskimos, Simon, well, you'll be mulked in three lines of blank verse plus cost. Oh, yeah. Wait, I had to keep ten for him. That's my yeah. advice to you. Yeah. Made one colossal howler right in the beginning. Oh, oh, did you hear that? Oh, 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 oh. You are crazy. That has never bothered me much. Yeah. What kind of mistake? Start from the beginning. Oh, yeah, Hermes, sure. Lord of the Dead, who watches over the powers. Okay, now let's see. This is where Orestes is talking over the tomb of his father. Oh, yeah. And his father's dead, that right? That's right. Now let's get this straight. This is where his father didn't kill. Murder! <laughs> by his own wife in a torturous box. You have him saying that Hermes is watching over this? I don't mean the Hermes you mean. Yeah. He was talking to the gentle lord of the underworld. He made that clear when he said he was keeping his inheritance for him. Yeah. Well, that's a bigger and better blunder than I'd hoped. <laughs> Makes his inheritance an underworld property. Hey, you mean, uh, 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 after all, his father's grave? You know, the wine you were drinking had bouquet. It stunk. <laughs> 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 Read us another line. Euripides, you keep watch for errors. Who watches over the power of my fathers. Be the guide and stand by my claim. I have come back to my own soil. I have returned. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The great Aeschylus has said the same thing twice. Oh. Let's look at this line again. Oh. Better yet, I will show you. I have come back. Yeah. You have said. But also, I have returned. I've come back means the same thing as I have returned. Oh, You're right, my God. It's like saying to your neighbor, live your eating trough. Your trough for eating things. Yeah. Oh, you two jagerlocks, the two are not the same at all. The diction is excellent. Yeah. 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 Well, show it. Yeah. Coming back means getting home, yeah. arriving with no further contact. Yeah. If it's there, he arrives. Yeah. The exile arriving comes back, but he also returns. Yeah. Well, that's good, yeah. my God. Yeah. Well, what do you say? I say Aristides did not return. Oh. If return means restored. Hey, he stuck past the guards. It wasn't for oh. ah. oh, That's good. Except I don't know what you mean. Oh, you don't Go on, yeah. read another line. On mountain grave bank, I entreated my hero to hear, to listen. 
Same thing twice again. Oh, oh, here to listen. Same uh, thing twice oh, again. Oh, but he has to, you fool. He's talking to the dead. Yeah. We called to them three times and we still don't get through. Yeah. How do you make your prologue this? I'll give you some, and if you catch me saying the same thing twice or patting my lines without adding to the sense, spit in my eye. <laughs> Not yet! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. Speak us some lines, then. Speak them. There's nothing else for it but to listen to your prologue and criticize the birds. Oedipus at the outset was a fortunate man. Oh, my God, he was not fortunate. Why, he was unfortunate from birth, from far birth, because Apollo had prophesied that he would murder his own son. Do you think that at the outset is fortunate? But then he became the wretchedest of humankind. He did not become, he never stopped. Now, look, look at this. When just after he was born, they put him in a broken pot and laid him out in the snow so he'd never grow up to murder his own father. Then he married an old lady who turned out to be his mother. So he went out and he slighted himself. What could he be? The prologues I write are very fine. Yeah. I'll not savor your prologues line by line, word for word, but by the God, I'll ruin them with a little bottle of oil. Yeah. Yeah. With a little bottle of oil? With a little bottle of oil. A little bottle of oil. Yeah. A pack of sheets. A bottle of yeah. By the way you write prologues, there's just room enough for a... Yeah. It's the length of this. I'll show you. <laughs> show me? Yeah. Huh. I say I can do it. Fight, 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 who is Rhesus? And if hides a fawn's apparel on Parnassus, up among nights, dances on light feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am struck again with a bottle of oil. <laughs> he hasn't that much. I got plenty of prologues left. Or he can't tag on any little bottle of oil. There's no man who's had good fortune all his days. For one was born to fortune, but his goods are gone. One born unhappy. Maybe you ought to strike your sail. Bottle of oil is going up quite a score. That would be my witness. It doesn't mean a thing. Here's the line to smash his little property. All right, yeah. give us another. But look out for that bottle. Cadmus, son of Agenor, once upon a time, sailing from Sidon. <coughs> little bottle of oil. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. My poor dear friend, you better buy that bottle quick before it chews up all your prologues. <laughs> Are you, are you saying that I should buy from him? That's my advice to you. Well, I refuse to do it. I got plenty of prologues left where he can't tag on any little bottle of oil. Pelops, son of Tantalos, reaching pizza, plain sailing from Sidon. Makes it work once again. Now be a good fellow. It's not too late. For only a quarter, you can get one nice and new. I won't do it. Here's another line for him. Aeneas, from his land. Lost his Choosing from his 
Source of rain and sacrificing. against the great master of magic verse. He courts disaster. I, I fear, fear for his sake. Say. But if his prosody is what you mean, you'll see. One little cut and his meter's all okay. Well, give me a handful of pebbles. I'll keep the count. i move. Ready? Diane Nakia, as you hear in the slaughter of heroes, a ho with a stroke of you not to the rescue. Furry's ancestral, oh how we honor you. We of the wayside, a ho with a stroke of me not to the rescue. That's two strokes scored against you, Ascalus. Greatest Akia Atreus. Sun Ward, Lord of her multitudes, hear me, oh, what a stroke of you, not to the rescue. Rescue, rescue, rescue. Another stroke, your ass list, that makes the third. Quiet, all. Oh, beekeepers, now open the temples of Artemis nearby. Oh, oh what a stroke of me, not to the rescue. Rescue, rescue. I am unable to sing of the prodigy shown at the wayside. Oh, oh what a stroke of me, not to the rescue. Rescue, rescue. Oh, what a mess. Stroke upon stroke has got my kidneys black and blue. I think I'll go take a cool, soothing bath. Yeah. Wait till you hear my lines for the melodic verse. We shall now move to verses written for the lyre. Very well. But uh, leave out the strokes, if you please. How the twin throne power of Achaea and manhood of Hela, de tum de tum de tum de tum de tum, sends forth the Sphinx who is princess of ominous hellhounds, de tum de tum de tum de tum de tum. Hand on the spear and in battle, the bird of encounter, de tum de tum de tum de tum de tum. Giving assault there to the hovering hounds of the airways, de tum de tum de tum de tum de tum. Like water pulling up from the well. <laughs> my sources are excellent. If you want to know it, my, my results are too. I only did not want to be seen using the same meadow views that Fredericus uses. This man draws from all sources burlesque, <laughs> the water drinking ditty, all that carrying jam, threnities, and folk singing. <laughs> Wait, I'll show you. No, here, give me something. No, 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 don't use a liar on that stuff. Where's that girl who uses moisture shell for casting out? Hither, European, your Ripidean muse. <laughs> to thee, uh -huh. only begetter of these mysteries. So that's the tent you. Well, she ain't no Sappho. That's a man's woman, if I ever saw one. I'll send birds when the sea's ever streaming, bellows twittering, double wings from the flies, <laughs> dipping in doctoring feathery forms, 
You and the angels under the roof, finger weavy, heaving in battles, handiwork of your womb warp webs, singing shuttles endeavor, where the flirt loving dolphin leaps next to the cutwater's darkened edge. A regular in her posture, gleam and joy the big box, where clusters of heart keys clink and clink. Circle me in your arms, oh my child, listen to that line. I'm listening. <laughs> Look at that one. I'm looking. You're the writer of lines like that. Dare to say that the verse is bad? Oh. Yours is made like a whore displayed in all the amorous postures. So much for your choral meters. Now I'll demonstrate the composition of your lyric meters. Oh, darkness of night, shining in gloom, but vision of dream bring you for me, fish from the cold depths on boy Hades. Spiritless spirit possessing, child of the stable night, as a grim apparition and dark trappings of death, blood is lovely glaring, her nails were long, they were long. Help me, my handmaidens, light up the lanterns and run with your pitchers, fetch from the river and heat up the water, and I may wash this vision from me. Oh, spirit of the sea, that was it. My whole housemates, behold, here are portents. Lieutenant Artemis Pretty Child, holding her puppies and leash letters, search for premises and use Zeus' daughter, both hands up holding your brightest twin torches, a pyro hanging at Glee's house, that I may get her with the gods by uh, grabbing uh, rooster. That will be all for the lyric verse. Yay! 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 Weigh it verse by verse, phrase by phrase, for specific gravity. Then bring out the scales. Scales! Yeah. My duty is to judge two master poets like a grocer selling cheese. Scales! See the ink of the great image. Who could have thought of this but he? Had anyone else proceeded to such an invention, I would have said he needed medical attention. <coughs> now both of you, take your places by the way, Penn. Ready? Ready. Hold your lines as you speak them. We Don't drop them until I say cuckoo. Well, we, we have. have. We have. Stay alive and lay it on the scale. How I wish the Argos had never winged her way. Reverend oh, Maricus with the cattle yeah. pastures near. Cuckoo! Yeah. The yeah. 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 How can this be? Oh. He put a river in it, the wool merchant's drink, and soaked his words in water as they do their wool. But you put in a winged word, a feathery line. Wait a minute. Match us again. Have him speak another line. Very well. Take your next line. Ready. Ready. Speak them. Persuasion hath no temple except within the word. Yeah. Yeah. Death yeah. is the only God that is not moved by gifts. Cuckoo! Yeah! yeah. 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 Wait once again! He put in death! There's nothing more depressing than that! But I put in persuasion? That's a handsome word! Yeah. Oh, persuasion! She's a featherweight! A scatter prey! Better see if you can't turn off the line with more heft. Something massive and bulky to give you more weight! Damn, where did I put those lines like this? We'll try this one! Achilles shot the dice and threw a deuce in a four! Oh, well, anyway, take your lines. This is the final test. Uh, no rip, no rip. His right hand 
seize the spear, heavily shod with steel. Oh, oh. Chariot piled upon chariot, corpse upon corpse. Oh. Cuckoo! Yeah! I you again! How? He threw out a couple of chariots and two dead bits. A hundred Egyptian coolies couldn't lift that load. All right, we'll not do it line by line anymore. No, no. Put him up on the scale yeah. with his children and his wife, Kephiphas on, and then all his books piled in his lap. And I'll recite but two verses, and still I will sink the scale. No. I cannot judge them anymore. Oh. 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 I must not lose the love of either one of them. Yeah. One of them is a great poet. Yeah. I like the other one. Yeah. You mean you won't do what you came down here to do? Yeah. And if I do decide, then take the one you want yeah. and go. We must not let your journey be in vain. Yeah. Bless your heart. Yeah. Very well. I came down here to get a poet. Why? To help our city survive so I can stage my courses. Oh, okay. The one of you who has the best advice for saving the city okay. is the one I'll take back with me. <laughs> Alcabiades is a baby who's giving the state delivery page. What are we to do with him? That's the first question. How does the state feel about it? Both of you, what are we to do? I hate the citizen who, by nature, well endowed, is to himself useful, useless to the community, is helpful to himself, to the community, is harmful. What do you say, Abdul? We should not let a lion into the state. Lions are dangerous and they should never be there at all. But if we do let one in, then we must do as it desires. My Zeus the Savior! I still can't make up my mind. What answer was so clever? The other one was so clear. Give me one more opinion, both of you. How can we save the city? Give Cleocritus Kinesius to act as wings. Let him be airborne over the vast sea's expanse. Well, that would be amusing. Would there be some point? Duh. Armed with vinegar jars, he could bomb the enemy with vinegar in their eyes. Don't get covered! 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 One that we trust not now, we trust. And yet, we trust no more what we do trust. We shall win. Uh, how's that again? Please be a bit more stupid so I'll understand. Stupid! 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 Now we trust and trust no more and use those citizens that we do not use now. We shall survive. If we are losing, using what we are losing, might it not follow that we might win by doing the opposite? Ingenious! Oh, my Palamene, soul of wit! Did you think that up yourself, or was it Kephisipha? Oh, paradise The vinegar was Kephisipha. What's your opinion? Tell me, what kind of man is apt using her best? Her best? Where have you been? She hates to like poison. You really think that Athens likes her worst man, yeah. doesn't like them, uses them because she has to. Yeah. How shall we pull a city like that out of the water if nearly the, near, if neither the coarse cloak nor the smooth mantle will serve? But you better find something quick or she'll sink and never come up. I'd rather not tell you that down here. I'd rather tell you that up there. Oh, yes, please. Sink your blessings up from underground. Yeah, she'll win if she regards all her land as though it were her enemies, and her enemies as though it were her own. That all ships are wealth, and all for wealth is them. Yeah.
on the South Stuff, Nelson Atkins Museum, somewhere around summer solstice on uh, Saturday. And we hope to continue this success with the zoo and hopefully somehow in a way to air condition the entire planet so that everyone can stay. We like to sign our mailing much. list right here. There's a mailing list right here and uh, uh, if you feel like you want to contribute anything, we don't know anything about it. Thank you very much. No, it's the frog. It's a frog. Uh, yes, it uh, should be on the program, I think. Yeah, it's in the program. <laughs> 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 <laughs>